number A2, um, I think we'll be branching to the Dartford crossing. Ourselves, okay, uh, meet old friends, uh -huh. mingle, and then uh, just um, touch base with um, our business partners as well. Good, 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 good. In one mile, use the left lane to exit left onto M25 towards. So Darwin I think crossing. it's a branch on time. Anyway, um, as Papa Vakus, I've got a, a wide knowledge of politics and entertainment and all that because he. Is the one who organizes um, summer parties, white parties um, during summertime in London, specifically. And um, I wanted to ask him a few questions about his summer party. Um, what what really brought about the summer parties that you were doing? Um, uh, Papa Vakus. Actually, you know, I've been doing these um, events for a long time, since I think um, my first event was in Ghana, 1998, uh, organizing fashion shows, beauty pageants in Ghana, which you're all aware, up until 2000, Exit to the left on 2002. So um, when I came here, um, I think in 2011, in uni, that uh, my friends, they said, oh, Ken, um, Vakus, you've been doing these events in Ghana. Why don't you try and have a, an event here for us to? Because there was nowhere for them to go. There was no social activity. They were always stuck at home, very bored, and all that. So I decided to um, do a bit of research, and then eventually um, I started organizing the event from 2011 up until 2009 when the COVID um, came in. So um, since 2009, sorry, up until 2019 when the, the, we had the COVID. But up, um, as at that time, from that time coming um, to 2022, I've not really organized um, um, the fashion, I mean, the, um, um, activities or the boat party. Um, basically, um, most people have been calling me. I've got thousands of calls saying, oh, um, actually they wanted me to do it this year, but um, I had had that commitment. Um, so hopefully I've assured them next year uh, in July, we'll be doing the, um, um, the, the, the boat, boat party. party. Yeah. And then I'm just thinking of adding another event, but then um, I don't want to disclose it now. So um, hopefully we'll talk about it um, next year when it's due. So, so people will be looking forward to, you know, the, the, your, boat, party. the boat party. Oh, yes, surely. I will be yeah. looking forward to it. Oh, because, definitely. Yeah. Have you been to the boat party before? I don't think so. I don't think so because I was busy on the island working. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. But I've decided to, you know, to attend, to attend. Okay. So next year. Next year. Hopefully. Yeah. I'll send you an invite, hopefully, so that you come and enjoy yourself. It's actually, it's very nice. Um, you get to meet people, 
good friends, old friends, you meet new friends as well. Networking. Um, networking. Um, um, and it's not only Ghanaians. Um, that's another thing. To it's a mixture of it's it's multicultural. Yeah, it's multicultural. Um, and then they love it. And especially they love the Ghanaian food as well. It's, and it's, um, uh, it's a buffet on the, on the boat. So it's really nice. It's really so nice. the buffet, is it only Ghanaian food or other? Yeah, um, it's other food. Um, well, it's mm. Ghanaian food, but then mostly Estimated all other um, uh, African minutes. brothers and sisters do eat as well. Okay. Uh, ranging from the jollof rice, they do salad, um, sandwiches, spring rolls, uh, the starters. And then in terms of the food, it, all sorts of food. So, and then um, uh, Finger Lake Ruby has been doing the food, and the food is really excellent. Mm -hmm. So far, we've not had any problems with the food. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, it's, it's a four hour journey, right, from um, 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 Lambert Pier, and then we come back to, we embark at Lambert, Lambert Pier, and then we disembark at Lambert Pier. It's, it's really nice. It's a round trip. It's a round trip. It's lovely. So, it's lovely. What, what time do you go and what time do you end? Um, we start at nine. So, um, we encourage um, our lovely um, friends and family to get there around eight. So, the boat um, depart at nine, nine o'clock and then we come back at um, one, 1 a.m. So, it's, it's really nice and it's all blasting music. Dancing to our so what type of music do you guys play? Oh, Afrobeat, uh, all sorts, Afrobeat, um, reggae, uh, all sorts. Because we have we have Jamaicans on board, we have Congolese. I mean, we have all. It's a multicultural thing, so we don't. Uh, we have we got white British on board? As oh, we've well? got British as well, and they eat Ghanaian food. Oh yeah, they eat. Uh, they, they especially they love the um, fried um, plantain. They oh love okay, it. and the fried yam, um, they love it too bit. Mm. And then now uh, jollof rice as well. And then and that's where you meet um, our dear Nigerians and um, Sierra Leoneans saying that, oh, their jollof rice is better than Ghanaians. But I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a good thing. Anyway, yeah. But sometimes the Nigerian jollof is, is also nice. Yeah, they're not, don't get me wrong. But the Ghana so, is they, special. Isn't yeah, the Nigerian jollof rice is okay. And Sierra Leone is okay. But then just that the Ghana one is better. Yeah, it's, it, it is. Because the ones that have been ordering from the Nigerian shops or uh, restaurants are. Very, it's got a lot of chilies and chilies. Yeah, yeah, meat is very hard yeah. and all that. Yeah. But you know, so overall, I think the, the Ghanaian jollof, jollof is, is and their meat is, is okay. But the Nigerian yeah. wouldn't understand. So we'll just yes, they're always competing yeah. with yeah. us on that on that <laughs> level. Yeah. So, so it means people should be looking for it. Oh yeah, year. definitely next year. Yeah, mm. next year hopefully in July we'll just um, have to do the white wood party. Okay. Uh, and people, you people have been trying to do it, but then it's not. You can't compare that to the original white boot part. It's mm -hmm. there. We started it first. I started it first in 2011, okay. and others copied it. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you do, you can't beat the the, the original white boot part. So okay, yeah. So hopefully our viewers, um, those who want to come, I advise them to hopefully look forward to it in July. We'll be doing uh, massive adverts. Um, so um, for them to look for it, and um, definitely they're going to enjoy and have fun on the boat. Good, good, good. I understand you completed university and you are working with mental health. You are a practitioner, and um, I know that you have been doing very good job and you know helping your community and all that. Yeah. And you've got plans to you know to help the government back home. You know, in organizing a very big organization so that you know we take care of all these other um level of clients and patients so what do you got to say about that um yeah it's true i completed um, um uni here kingston uh, university in london uh, mental health bsc mm -hmm. um and i've been working in various hospitals and prisons so um, you've got I, all the experience I, I, I completed 2012 so working mm -hmm. for 10 years oh wow so it's a lot mm -hmm. of experience um, what uh, you're talking about going back home, yeah, uh, that has been my dream and vision, wanting to go and um, give back to the community, mm -hmm. um, especially focusing on um, drug, um, apart from mental health, focusing on uh, drug and alcohol rehab, mm -hmm. rehabilitation as well. Because you agree with me that most, uh, we don't have any, apart from uh, Pantine, other mm -hmm. few, mm -hmm. uh, Pantine and Ridge Hospital, um, most people, 
don't have anywhere to take their 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 their, their family or relative to in case of crisis. So um, I decided to um, try and build something to help the community. It's in Dodoa anyway. It's still in process. So hopefully, um, once we finish, we'll be able to. Um, um, help the community on a very large scale and not only for Ghanaians for the West diaspora. African mm -hmm. countries and for the diaspora as well so so what, what do you think about um, the economic situation as you've decided to go and do that integration in terms of politics and all that how do you feel about that yeah well the politics um, I will advise that because if you want to if you're a businessman and you want to enter into politics it's not the best of advice it's just stick to your business and um, the economy is hard and um, landing here the economy is also hard as well but Ghana is harder um, but I guess when you have the right resources um, I've, I do have a, I've got another um, a, a charity aside it as well mm -hmm. so once we are able to secure funding mm -hmm. we'll be able to help the um, 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 uh, patients or um, uh, clients who who are not who've not got money who are i would say um need help mm -hmm. so we'll be able to offer that help free mm -hmm. uh, because at least we're getting funding from the charity so um th that that has been the vision and the dream and then obviously i'll employ very skilled and knowledgeable um staff as well to help mm -hmm. me with the drug and um, alcohol rehabilitation mm -hmm. basically um we there's a we, we call something like the 12 step program mm -hmm. so either you want to do it for three months mm -hmm. um, if you want to detox for three months or six months mm -hmm. so um, that's what they use in Ghana the 12-step approach mm -hmm. so um, hopefully we'll be using that as well um, for to help our clients uh, detox and then not only that we'll be also doing counseling we'll be doing telephone um, counseling as well mm -hmm. um, talking to people in terms of crisis, advising people what they need to do, and then um, um, directing them to um, the right services they need to um, access. All right, so do you think um, the, the percentage of the population of individuals that involve are involved in um, drug and alcohol are a lot more um, than UK? In Average speed checks zone ahead. Um, yeah, in terms of what you have to think about the population as well. But in UK here, um, UK here, the, the only advantage they do get is there's help here. But then in Ghana, you have to UK here. Mostly they don't they don't pay. You just go to the hospital or GP. They put you in a hospital, a rehab. The government pays for everything. Mm -hmm. But in Ghana, you, if you don't have money, you can't really access these facilities. Mm -hmm. If you have to go to even Panta a hosp a Hospital at the moment, as at last year or so, they were charging. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I, mean, I think is it two thousand, three thousand um, um, a month, mm -hmm. including food, everything, three thousand per head. Mm -hmm. um, Ridge Hospital were charging, I think, um, seven thousand five hundred for the three months. Mm -hmm. uh, no, seven thousand five hundred, yeah, for three months. If you're foreign national, mm -hmm. is um, fifteen thousand. So um, it's but assuming you've got somebody who who's been drinking, who's been um, using drugs for a long time by the roadside, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Because oh, don't forget, they, they don't also, have the help. They don't, don't have, have the, help. the financial yeah. So, to so if the government is not helping, mm -hmm. that's where the government should come in and get um, these organization uh, putting more funding so that they'll be able to help these people. But then, assuming you have a business running, you can't be going around picking people on the street mm -hmm. into your business. Mm -hmm. You lose. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but at least if you've got funding, you'll be able to help such people. Um, off the street and then um, help them detox and then after detox try and um, 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 prepare them rehabilitate them into back into the community mm -hmm. by um, if um, in, in terms of their speciality or mm -hmm. whatever they want to do for instance if they want to 
uh, learn carpentry, if it's plumbing, whatever they want to do, if it's gardening, farming, anything. So you have to organize extra workshops for workshop that. Workshop for that as well. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a holistic approach. It's do you just, think the government of Ghana is in the position of even helping these people in um, terms of even the NHS card and all these um, health situations in Ghana? Do you think the government is in the position of doing that? Um, um, for now, I would say no, but maybe in, in the near future, who knows, maybe um, um, uh, it, it's possible. But at the moment, they're not doing it. But in the near future, could be maybe from next year, from mm -hmm. next two years, they could start doing it. Who knows? But then it will be, it will be good for the government to, because mental health in Ghana and all this drug and alcohol rehab is kind of like a, a stigma. Oh, they were put down and all that. But then it's not that we were put down. We have to understand them and mm -hmm. uh, put ourselves in their positions. But then mostly we can't be bothered. Most people can't be bothered. They don't understand um, what somebody suffering from mental health is going through. Um, somebody suffering from either bipolar, yeah, hearing voices. You don't understand what they go through. It's only them who understands and we the professionals, we have that empathy for them. We are able to empathize and work with them for them to achieve their goals, for them to recover and move back into the community. Yeah. So, um, so what, what do you think about the political situation when it comes to health in Ghana? Yeah, there, there are so many hospitals that was um, built by the former government. It's still there. This new government is also building, uh, trying to build uh, his own hospitals and here and there. But I believe if those hospitals were were were, were not finished, this government could have just finished it and then uh, commissioned it uh, for it to run and to be helping the, the, the ordinary Ghanaian citizen. But then it's not the case. Everything has been politicized. So it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult in Ghana at the moment. But hey, here we go. You can't, um, <laughs> you can't complain too much. Even if you complain, uh, they will do listen to you. But then uh, I'm sure in the near future, things will change. Okay. So in, in a nutshell, what, what do you think about the government in power now, as in its economic uh, prowess in terms of helping the community and you know putting things right to for for the machinery to work well and all that um, at the moment the government in power now i would say um from the, the research i've done they're not really uh, maybe we, you can agree to disagree but then from my point of view um they are they are doing their best but then um they can do better they're doing their but they can do better just to help the ordinary Ghanaian because things are very hard in Ghana. Miles. You go to 37, left onto um, Tunnel, there's West no Ball. bed. You go to Ridge Hospital, there's no bed. If you don't have money to take your 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 son or daughter to a private hospital or to pay for the bed, your 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 child will die. And that's the situation in Ghana at the moment, which is very um, serious. So um, I'll urge the Ghanaian government to try and now uh, the health minister. Um, to try and um, because putting what, what, what happens when their children are sick, they fly them to London uh, to abroad. Why don't you take them to 37 for treatment? When MPs are sick, they fly them, they, they come to abroad. Why don't you treat yourself in Ghana? Yeah, but then when the ordinary Ghanaian uh, is sick or not feeling well or is in a very um, critical position. They are taken to hospital, they are, they are not even beds. They'll be sleeping on the floor. When you go to 37 or Ridge Hospital, it's common there. Mm -hmm. Those who work there can testify. So it's it's a very serious thing going on in Ghana that I believe um, the government have to um, look into it um, with the help of the uh, Ministry of Health to tackle this situation then uh, just to help um, uh, our dear motherland. Okay, we'll be right back in a minute. Yes, guys, we are close to the location. And um, all that I want to say is Papa Vakus gave us a brilliant snapshot of what he's going to do next year and all about his projects and integration into Ghana. So we are learning something today. Um, we, we, we just really want to talk about a little bit of... Um, mental health 
Um, we don't want to go too much into the politics of Ghana because at the end of the day, um, they have to set their priorities right in terms of the 1992 constitution. It needs amendment. And even if the constitution of Ghana, 1992 constitution is amended, they have to also um, revitalize the uh, justice system because if there is a tendency for corruption to thrive and we don't hit hard on the corporates then it means our country is going to degenerate from time to time and we, we, we're not going to get any grip of anything that is going to happen but now we want to throw the cams to speed camera ahead mr k mr ken k the vacus papa vacus the originator of Pride boat party in UK. Yeah, that's the main man. Yeah, so talking about the mental health of individuals, do you think there's a whole lot of um, youth that is going through that phase in Ghana? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, most people in Ghana don't understand mental health and as such they've stigmatized it um, for far too long. Um, however, average um, speed check zone ahead. Um, people suffering from even there are individuals that are having um, mental health issues, suffering from mental health disorder that they don't know themselves. Entering average speed check so, um, with a lot of education, a lot of um, um, signposting, um, workshops. Um, at, at the moment, they are doing well in Ghana. Um, they do well in Ghana, but um, it, it, it can be it can be better. Um, because when you talk about um, like somebody suffering from um, um, schizophrenia, for instance, a lot of people don't even know what is schizophrenia. You don't blame them because that's not their field. But um, we need to understand what um, um, schizophrenia is all about. Um, the negative, you talk about the negative symptoms, you talk about the positive symptoms. When you talk about the positive symptoms, the basically you're talking about hallucinations, um, delusions, and thought disorder. But even with the hallucinations, um, that's, um, we have visual hallucinations. That's uh, people seeing things. Uh, they, to them, they, are, they, 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 they think what they are seeing is, is genuine, is rational. But to, to, you, to you and I, to you and I, yeah, to you and I, um, we, we might not believe them. We think, oh, they are just, um, there's nothing there. They are just making it up. No, they are not making it up. It's, it's, a, it's a genuine thing. And it, means, it means a lot to them. Um, apart from the visual, we've got um, um, tactile. Um, I think people are touching them. Um, we've got tactile hallucinations. Um, um, we've got um, gustatory. Um, the mouth, they, 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 they're eating, they, they think they are eating something. Um, uh, they, 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 are, they, are, they are tasting, oh, oh, they've tasted this. But then, um, to you and I, oh, what is there to taste? There's nothing, there's nothing wrong. But to them, it's real, you see. And then, um, the aspect of it is, is the um, command hallucinations. When we talk about command hallucinations, it's like, um, they, 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 they are hearing voices telling them to harm somebody, telling them to harm themselves. And they could be even be hearing voices telling them to kill themselves or to kill someone. And if you take it for a joke, in this country, especially in London, it's happened several times. Uh, where I work in prison, it's happened. It's happened in other hospitals. Um, when you go into the news, you see all these things happening. Those are the positive symptoms. Then you can talk about the negative symptoms uh, it's like uh, you see somebody who is not coming out from his room. He's always isolated, um, social withdrawal, blunt affect. Those are the negative symptoms. But um, basically, that's schizophrenia. Um, then uh, it's, it's broad mental health. Is schizophrenia is just a part of it. Then we've got something called schizoaffective disorder. With a schizoaffective disorder, is um, somebody suffering from schizophrenia and then bipolar.
That's the worst kind. Exactly. That's the, the worst, worst kind. kind. <laughs> I love it though. You know, you know, I you don't want to wish it on your worst enemy. Yeah, Trust yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Schizoaffective disorder. Yeah, I love it. You don't want to wish that on any of your enemies. Enemies. Yeah. Trust me. The so, worst kind. The worst I'm kind. Kind. I'm I'm dumb. Dumb. I'm 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 kind. I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb. I'm uh, let's climb this, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So um, those are the things. Then obviously we talking about um, depression, and then um, but depression is is broad. Very but then broad. Um, yeah, mm. um, what I mean by depression is we can all lose a family member. You can lose a family member. You can go into the um, being sad, you can lose a husband, a, a daughter, anybody, but um, or a, a traumatic experience that makes you very withdrawn. Mm. But then um, depression sets in when, after about six months, you are still not able to recover from that, whatever has happened from that traumatic experience. Mm. You are not able to go to work, function, do the activities of daily living as a, a normal human being should do. Then the depression sets in. So many at times we have to understand it's not them. Other people have got coping mechanisms that are able to come out from that traumatic experience. Others too, uh, they don't have that um, coping mechanism. So what they tend to do is they fall back on uh, medication, um, antidepressants to help them um, uh, with their depressive mood. And then um, um, when you have um, in Ghana, for instance, there are so many people suffering from mental health. They are there, there's no help. They don't have money. What did they do? They are just there. Some are committing. When you go to um, Ghana, when you have the opportunity to go to the Ghana prisons, they are there. Unlike here, the prisons, we've got a mental health, we've got a unit mm -hmm. that um, gives them medication, looks after them proper. Mm -hmm. Ghana prisons, it's not like that. You don't even have a, a, a sort of suitable place to even rest your head. head. Um, to the extent of you know extending that you know genuine hospitality to that to that level to that level exactly of, of health of health you know yeah yeah of health mm. so um it's, it's it's sad but I believe um as time goes on with time um it's only us who when our generation the the, the young ones come in will be able to change that pattern mm. um uh, in Ghana and then. Um, well, uh, let me say in Ghana because over here in UK, there's always help. There, you're able to assess help, mm -hmm. but then in Ghana, it's very difficult. It's yeah. very very difficult. And also, what about them? What about them? Especially fine. if you don't have that financial support. Yeah, if you don't have that. If you are not financially sound, so, how can you even access that sort of um, the, 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 help? The, the help you or need. that facility, you yeah, can't. You yeah. Can't. Yeah. So it's it's a difficult thing, but then. Um, yeah, we, we, we do our very best. Um, like I said, we're doing um, doing the project. Hopefully, in the next um, next year, next two years, I should finish, and I'll be able to give back to the community. That's that's my vision. That's something I really want to do to help the community. Okay, Papa Vakus, in your last words, can you give the our viewers, you know, what kind of advice do you give to them in terms of mental health and in terms of what they are? Uh, dreams and aspirations are especially the Ghanaian youth um, well, I would say um, it's difficult because now people the youth are using uh, is it tramor and yeah. all that mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's difficult to once they use it they realize that oh okay they're going down the hill they should seek help um, people if I advise if your daughter your family member is suffering from has a mental health disorder don't keep it at home I know there's this uh, stigma in Ghana, but don't keep it at home. Try and um, um, assess help from, um, I know maybe financially it can be very difficult, but try and assess help from the um, uh, hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, I'll advise the youth to um, at least um, ensure total abstinence from um, drug and alcohol misuse. It's difficult, but they should, because, um, but you don't blame them if they, they are not working. What do you expect them to do? It's easier said than done. But if they are not working, what what do you expect them to do? They tend to drugs and alcohol. But then um, all that I'm saying is, uh, we should always seek for help um, if we having problems and with um, either mental health or drug and alcohol misuse. Mm -hmm. um, we shouldn't let that deter us from seeking, seeking for help. Um, I believe um, 
the the youth should also there should be a lot of education to empower the youth um, about mental health mm -hmm. and how they'll be able to seek for help. Okay. So um, that, that thank I think, you very uh, much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, we we dearly appreciate your um, you know consideration and your advice and your professional insight into yeah. the stuff that you've given us right now. Um, we hope to um, join you soon. Thank so you. you take care and have fun. All right. Thank All you. Right.
And a party is going to go into a break of the tour. No, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you. 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 I want to feel for. Ama, ya tu so ania sorry, man can ania poa. Isan se ya di ni na no. Ama, I yet hundred eighty five. I yet walk on him and come on. Ama, when I tell you, I will go by your no. I will do a deal. You be dear. You just say, ya poa, ya be mu ni na. I don't see Ama. Why do you know what we see up for? Oh my, I'm so tense. Oh, pardon. I feel bad. What can we feel? I'm one year in fear to know. Ama if you don't know how to get to our home, the son said, "If you baby, any other baby will be a yet to me. I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to go and get it. The son said, 'Ama, any other baby will be a yet to me. I'm going to go and get it. The son said, 'Ama, if you baby, any other baby will be a yet to me. I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to go and get it. The son said, 'Ama, if you baby, any other baby will be a yet to me. I'm going to go and get it. The son said, 'Ama, if you baby, any other Let's say ne ama udi wa uta infiye dunua kambre dufo unu ya mano unu ya mano ama yesi ni bi biya ya kandi achiwa ya kachiwa ni na nse ya kwa yense mu ya kat bibi kakra eshimu ya di ya kase biya ama kabo ni na nse se ya nimse mkoni ya sisi ya ni tebo sisi ya mno ya nimse o korente inti ya kana se o bia ta de uma kakai chemo no ama faça sa em coiano na dia ta dia chat o nesse dia vai ter tiro bia ama unim dia tiro bia unim dia tiro o homem casa na unim é só só o na dia ano o na dia ano boa boa for entre unim entre dia vai ter tiro bia no o meu assotia ama e nha o meu entre daqui a vez é que a gente nasce adolfo mal é que a gente não é a gente ano é que na Yang faham ni je, ini osipo. Yang faham ni yang miasi, emma ye niaba ama sewa. Ene yang kupai na duma, wanya efiye jono. Efiye jono ni enye izi. Tese waba beka abu siano. Enti ada yang miasi. Yang miasi show dia. Oh Yesus di puti. Amen. Yang show dia, yang tu ni ya adun kuai wadaluma.
going through the crossing that foot. That's Hilton. That for Hilton. Because of the charges now, they've just opened it up. Yeah. yeah, when you pass through, you just pay. The US, when they borrow money, they're getting it in 1.5, 1.9 interest rate. Africans, when they get the same amount of money, they're paying 9, 10%. The people who don't need a break, they get a break. The ones who need a break, they don't get a break. The sheer survival of the World Bank IMF is based on the fact that African countries and, and many other developing countries do not succeed. Their success is based on our failure. That has to change. And guess who can make that change? We, the children of Africa, we, the Africans, are the ones who have to say, we know your game now. Enough is enough. We're not playing it anymore. And this is where the diaspora come in. There are more Ghanaian doctors in New York City than in, in the entire country of Ghana. There are more doc Nigerian doctors in LA than in the entire country of Nigeria. So let's be serious here. What Africa needs is capacity, capacity, capacity. And that capacity is in the diaspora. So it behooves us to bring the diaspora together. Let them understand what is really going on in our Africa. Diaspora are not going home. Diaspora are angry about Africa because they are not understanding the root cause of why Africa is where it is today. They think getting rid of a president will take care of the problem. Far from it. That president is just going to be replaced by another one who is going to equally suffer from the same difficult environment to work in. So let's look at an Africa that must be free to take care of herself, an Africa that free from exploitation from outsiders. The multinationals who are stealing from Africa every day in broad daylight. I use an example of the DRC. If you ever fly very low over the DRC, you'll see tarmacs in the jungle. You'll see 747s flying into DRC, picking up minerals and flying right out. The same multinationals are responsible for arming young people and giving them MK-16s. Because why? Their satellites in the skies are telling them where that village is. There's, there are lots of diamonds. So what do they do? Arm young people, drag them up, and send them to go chop off a few heads. The rest of the village runs away, so they come behind and do their illegal mining. We black people must understand what is really going on. Because what we are shown instead is, oh, look at those Africans killing each other. There are some serious games that have been played in Africa for far too long. And once we understand that, we can strategize as to how we can begin to bring the difference and bring the change that Africa needs. And that change can only come if the African diaspora are united and the Wakanda villages, as I call them. It is our organized way of saying, starting with one African diaspora center of excellence, it will be a new city, a developmental hub that we can then take from there Every sector is developed. Take healthcare. How many doctors do we need in this region to take care of this many people? We pick up education, same thing. We pick up engineering. We pick up electricity. How many megawatts of power do we have in the region? How many do we need? Be it solar, be it wind, be it hydro, be it geothermal, be it nuclear. We were singing, what you were singing? The masters of the field were coming. We who are young boys are coming. The masters of the field are coming. We who are young boys are coming. To win the race, to win the race, we trust in God, we trust in God. To win the race, we trust in God. And that's for Opoku Wari. Masters mm -hmm. are coming. Masters are coming. Mm -hmm. Masters are coming to win the race. Oh, 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 oh. Masters are coming. And then they will sing. Prepare the world. Prepare the world. Then we go more. Then we will keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Then you will sing. Ah, when they tire, then we will come in. Mm -hmm. Diplo, Owens. Diplo, Owens. Are we again? We have to win the race and take a cup. We are the masters of the field and best athletes. Famous to all and decent boys, how would you prove? Then they will start. I've been quiet. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to go.